Okay, we're at the next lecture for the Java OCA course. We have a second coding example we're going to look at, and we want to consider cases where arguments are sent to the main method, and then we'll have some comments on this. So once again, we're going to go to our Java OCA project in BlueJ. We're going to create a new class, and that new class we're going to name main args. And after you create your main args class, you will erase the default code that BlueJ provides, and you will change it to the code provided on this slide. It is a simple um, main method with a system out prompt. And notice the system out prompt has args with an index of zero, concatenated with the word and, and an args with an index of two. Notice that args is the name of the array, the string array that is in the parameter of the main method. We will compile, and after we compile, we will execute the main method. And again, we have no arguments here, and this is going to throw an error for us because our program is expecting main method arguments. So click OK, and you will see that we get this message on the bottom of our BlueJ compiler. It says array index out of bounds exception and it's indicating what line of code is causing the problem. And as you can see, I said that the args index zero and args index two, they're looking for values which don't exist. So we have an array with no values. It's causing an index out of bounds error. That's because we didn't send any arguments here in between the braces. So we can do that. We're going to execute again. You will click on the main args and you will select the main method. And this time when the dialog box comes up, you're going to type in there, A inside of quotes, comma, B inside of quotes, comma, C inside of quotes. And this is index zero, B is the index one, and C is the index two. And then when you press okay, these arguments will be passed to the main method. And we see our program executes and runs and it prints A and C. And that's because the system out print is taking index 0 and index 2. So A and C. And it executes and it runs. So we did this in BlueJ. We had to pass a string um, array to the main method. And now let's do this again, but this time in terminal. So you'll open up your terminal window like we showed you in the previous lecture. Um, you go to your Applications folder, the Utilities folder, you select the Terminal app, you're going to type CD Java OCA, that is to change your directory to the right folder, and this time you're going to type Java main args, and we don't need to use quotes here in the terminal window, just spaces in between the strings, and it will send ABC to the main method. Press Enter, and you're going to see that the output printed is A and C. There it is. If we run this again, but we only type main args A and B, we're going to get an error because we're looking for uh, system out print args 0 and args 2. Well, there's only an args 0 and args 1 here, so we're going to get that index out of bounds error here because we did not send enough arguments to the main method. So that's the comments on the code. Not sure if you've seen arguments passed to the main method before or not. This is an example where a Java OCA prep book has passed arguments to the main method. And we had to make sure that there were at least three string characters sent. You could send more, but sending more won't affect the code because it will stop looking for index, indices after index two. So that is the end of this lecture. Watch it again, take your notes, ask questions, and continue with your assignments.